introduction to Microsoft Visio 2013. So what is Microsoft Visio? Microsoft Visio is a program used to create diagrams and drawings of all types and for all purposes. Unlike the basic diagram functions found in other Office programs, such as Word or Excel, Visio offers advanced drawing and diagram functions that can be used for almost anyone, from home-based users to businesses and on to people like architects and interior designers. You can use Visio 2013 to create diagrams and presentations, such as process diagrams. These types of diagrams describe a process and details the steps that are used in the process. It can also include conditions and resources. Processes could be accounting procedures, customer service procedures, or even the development phase of a new product. Engineering drawings, to represent a mechanical or electrical part, or engineering diagrams that are schematic representations of the system. Architectural drawings, Visio can even open and save DAD.DWG files. You can use Visio to create drawings for domestic residents, commercial buildings, and office layouts, plus more. Workflow diagrams, this is a flowchart that uses icons to represent people, processes and activities that go on a sequence, such as the recruitment or handling of complaints. Network diagrams, which typically represent groups or clusters of things that are related to computing, such as an active directory, rack diagram and website maps. Timelines, they're typically used for project management. They consist of a bar that's labelled with dates, represented by points. You can create a timeline to create a Gantt chart or a rack diagram. Visio can be purchased in one of two ways. You can purchase Visio 2013 in standard or professional version through Microsoft for a one-time charge. However, if you do not want to fork out a large sum of money at once, you can also purchase a subscription of Visio Pro through Office 365, which is a Microsoft subscription based for Microsoft Office programs. The subscription requires that you pay a monthly fee. However, you get all the benefits of Visio 2013 with the subscription based version. You can also download a free trial of Microsoft Visio if you want to just learn the software but not purchase it, or if you want to try it before you buy it. You can download a free trial of Visio without downloading any of the other Office programs. Simply go to the Microsoft site and locate Visio 2013. If you haven't already, you'll be asked to fill out a profile for Microsoft. You'll be asked for basic information such as your name, address and phone number. In addition, you'll be asked some questions on your download requirements for Visio 2013. Because downloading Microsoft Visio is not always as simple as it seems, we're going to go through the steps that you need to do to download it. We can start the process for downloading Visio by going to the Visio Professional 2013 download page. The URL is shown at the top of the screen here. But if you can't memorize something like that, you can just type in download Visio 2013 into Google and this is one of the top few results. To start, click on try. When this page loads, click on Get Started Now. It will then ask you to sign into your Microsoft account. Put in your details and click Sign In. Microsoft will then ask you to fill in your profile information. So put in the details and press Continue at the bottom of the page. However, before clicking Continue, you should take note of this box here that asks what version of the software that you'd like to download. It offers you 32-bit or 64-bit or other. You should be careful with this question. You should select the one that matches any other versions of Office or Office programs that you have on your computer. You should not necessarily choose the one that matches your operating system. If you choose the wrong one, Microsoft will instruct you to uninstall other Office programs from your computer during the Visio installation process. You don't want to have to do this. If you have Office 365, 32-bit is the default. Unless you specified 64-bit during your setup and installation of Office, you have 32-bit. This means you'll need to choose 32-bit for Visio. I have the 64-bit version of Office, so I'm going to click on 64-bit. Now fill out the rest of the information and click Continue. Once you finish your profile information, Microsoft will provide you with a product key to use for your free trial. The page will look like this. Make sure you either print this page or write down the product key. Then select the download language and click download to download Microsoft Visio 2013.
the Microsoft website might ask you to download the file using a separate installer. It's up to you if you wanted to install this program or not. For me, I chose not to install it. So I clicked on a different option and then clicked on the OK button. And that gave me this option to download the direct file. I can then click on this link to save the file. So what's new in Visio 2013? Before we delve into learning all about Visio 2013 and how it works, let's talk about some of the improvements that have been made in this version. This section of the lesson is specifically for those of you who've used prior versions and are anxiously waiting to learn what changes have been made. Improvements to templates. You'll notice that several of the diagram templates have been improved. The improvement affects the timeline, basic network, detailed network, and basic shape templates. New shapes and callouts. You'll also find new shapes, callouts, and containers. Organization chart updates. The template for the organization chart has new shapes and styles. In addition, they've made it easy to add pictures to employee shapes all at once. SharePoint workflow template. This template supports stages, loops, and steps, as well as custom actions. The Business Process Modeling Notation, or BPMN, template now supports BPMN version 2.0. UML and database templates are now easier to use as well as more flexible. Special Effects, Themes and Styles The same special effects, themes and styles that you love in other Office programs are now available in Visio. You can now duplicate an entire page by right-clicking on the Page tab and selecting Duplicate. Easily replace shapes in diagrams using the new Change Shape Gallery under the Home tab. Co-author diagrams as a team using SharePoint or OneDrive. Use the commenting pane to comment on diagrams. The comments show as threaded conversations. And much more. Once you open the setup file, a screen like this would appear. Read the terms and conditions and click on I accept the terms of this agreement and then click continue. This screen will appear next. Click on the install now button. Now Visio Professional will start to install, and this screen will be displayed. Once it's finished installing, you'll see this screen here. You can click Close. Once Visio is installed, locate it on your computer. If you're using Windows 8 or 8.1, go to your Start screen and locate Visio and then open it. You'll be asked to sign into your Windows Live account to verify your copy of Visio is genuine. Again, be careful. If you downloaded a free trial of Visio 2013, you must enter the product key to verify the Visio 2013. Below the next button on this screen, you'll see a blue link toward the bottom part of the sign in box that says enter product key instead. Click this link and then enter the product key that was given to you when you created your profile. So once you click on the link, this screen will be displayed. Enter the product key that was given to you and click continue. Visio will then be installed. The main window of Microsoft Visio will then open.